I'm in the pink. I haven't worn the pink yet because it's long sleeve and it's been too hot, but it's nice out today. Nice and cool out today. So I'm in the pink. You can't buy these anymore. So sad. So sad because these are cool. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Santa Who. Santa Who is a 2000 ABC television release. It's directed by William Deere, cinematography by Derek V. Underschultz, editing by Edgar Bergson, music by Joel McNeely, and it's written by Deborah Frank and Stephen L. Hayes. William Deere, Edgar Bergson, and Joel McNeely I've all covered in previous videos. They'll be listed in linked in the description. Derek V. Underschultz is best known for Starcrossed, 666 Park Avenue, Jason X, and Total Recall 2070. Deborah Frank is best known for Cagney and Lacey, Different Strokes, The Muppets, Wizard of Oz, and Moonlighting. Steve L. Hayes is best known for Mr. St. Nick, Godzilla the Series, The Muppets, Wizard of Oz, and this. The film stars Leslie Nielsen, Stephen Eckholt, Robin Lively, and Max Morrow. Leslie Nielsen plays Santa, and Robin Lively plays Claire, and I've covered both of them in previous videos that will be listening to the description. Stephen Eckholt plays Peter and is best known for Grapevine, Message in a Bottle, The Wraith, and Friends. Max Morrow plays Zack and is best known for Mutant X, Warehouse 13, Jacob Tutu meets the Hooded Fang, and Monk. This has some bad reviews. People said they tried, but it was like getting a lump of coal in your stocking. Apparently there's a rumor that Lionsgate wants to remake this. And there is a parent death in the film said on screen. Stephen's character, Peter, says his mother passed away when he was seven. He's the main character, so it counts. This movie was odd. I'll get into it. I hate Peter. Peter is like hateable for 80% of this movie. And his like resolution of not being hateable anymore is so short and so bad that you still hate him. This movie was odd. I see what the reviews meant where they tried but didn't get it. I couldn't agree more with that review. I like or that consensus, I should say. This has all of the ingredients of a heartwarming good Christmas movie and somehow it's bad. I can't pinpoint exactly what the problem is, but it's like they tried for so many different parts of the heartwarming Christmas tale and just like missed them. But they're all there. Does that make sense? Like you have a character who hates Christmas because of his orphaned past, who's gonna learn the meaning of Christmas, right? You've got that. Then you have Santa Claus who doesn't remember who he is, who's gonna realize and remember the love he has for Christmas and why he loves giving presents to children. You've got that. You've got the kid who knows it's Santa and is determined to make everyone realize that it's the real Santa. Got it. You got a mom who's looking for a father figure for her child and trying to get through to her Scrooge of a man. You got that. Then you even have like the fun Christmas movies like the Santa Claus where you have these elves from Santa's workshop trying to find Santa and that's like their mission and then overarching you have this whole story of like let's get this man reunited with his family this heartwarming oh my god so beautiful you have all of these pieces and it just couldn't decide what kind of movie it wanted to be it was like it wanted to be like the Santa Claus with the fun elves stuff and like or even like a newer movie like um the Christmas Chronicles is that what that's called the Santa no the Claus Chron no, this is Christmas Chronicles with um, Kurt Russell, where like his reindeer are crashed in the middle of Chicago and he's gotta find them and like he partners with two kids like it even like Santa Claus and that they have that they were attempting and they also have like very like it's a wonderful life miracle on 34th Street dramatics that they're also trying to accomplish and those two things don't coincide those are different Christmas movies does that make sense like. One is like fun and heartwarming and good for like the whole family. And then you got like, it's wonderful like a miracle on 34th where it's like, you're coming in ready for the tears, ready to sob, <laughs> okay? And they just didn't mesh well at all. I feel like Robin Lively was the best in this film. And it makes me mad because I feel like Robin Lively deserves better. I mean, she was in her first movie that I covered, Fuzz Bucket. But then she was in the Not Quite Human series, which was so good. And she was excellent in that. 
So I'm just like, I'm salty. I, I wanted her like to be in a, a bigger movie than the Not Quite Human series and it to be um, really good and successful because Robin Lively is good. Um, she was the best one in this movie. Um, Stephen Hawk Holt was bad, but I did hate him. So I guess he wasn't that bad because you're supposed to hate the character. Um, and then Leslie Nielsen, like, just like chuckled humbly for 90% of this movie. He barely did anything. So, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. He makes a very good Santa. Like, he's got, you know, off the stereotypical traditional look of Santa. He looks the part. I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. This was, I just, it missed the mark for me. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't very good. And Peter and Zach's resolution? Really? You're going to believe me now? Yeah. <laughs> Hate it. Um, okay. So this was really bad. My final rating is four. <sighs> Slaves. Out of ten. <laughs> Our total movie count is. Our parent death toll is. Our cry count is still the same. If you want to keep up with movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just one dollar, and benefits do come with that. And it's a good time over there, so go check it out. Uh, buy merch. You can't buy this one anymore, but you can still buy the castle and the parent death toll and the don't be blank about it and the uh, phone cases and the stickers and all of those. You still buy all that, so go check them out. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so you do, and don't be... I mean, I'd say Peter for like 85% of the movie. Don't be Peter. Bye. I suppose don't be, I don't know, like the security cop people at the end. We just watched Halloween movies. Now we are at Christmas before Halloween has passed. That makes no sense. Whoopsie do, whoopsie do, whoopsie do, whoopsie do. We're watching Christmas movies all before Halloween.